we can get round this if we move over to our text editor and edit our match here. A to Z is how we're expressing the range. However, if we wanted to express an A and a hyphen and a Z, we could get around this by using the escape character. The same character that we use to mark a new line, escape followed by N. That's the backslash. The same applies if we wanted to match a literal dot. We'd use the dot here, but by putting a backslash in front of it, Perl would know that we're actually wanting to match the literal dot character or full stop rather than using that dot as a wildcard within our pattern. Within the brackets of a character set, those two square brackets, the dot loses its special significance. So if we put a dot inside those square brackets, Perl would count that as one of the characters that we're going to include within the set. We can also use the character set in order to match either letter, whether it's going to be a capital or a lowercase. This can be useful if we're not sure whether, for instance, the word fox is going to be uppercase or lowercase. As you recall, there's also a modifier that we can use at the end of our regular expression to make Perl case insensitive. This, however, affects every character or every alphabetical character within the entire regular expression. We may not want to do this, either because the wrong capitalization could not be the kind of pattern we're looking for, or because also it's kind of inefficient to use the case insensitive modifier unless we really have to. Perl has to work a lot harder to match both capital and lowercase letters than it does if we're able to tell it exactly the ones that we're looking for. We're also able to use a special character, and this is uh, like an exponential character, but it means something quite different within the context of the character set. Here, we're matching every character except an F, and we could add whatever characters we wanted as well to that set, as long as they came after that first symbol there to tell us that this is a negative set. In effect, we're matching a whole range of characters and excluding rather than including the character set that we're laying out. So in this case, our matches array would only contain box and ox with the space preceding it. 